Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift. Hello good people. Welcome back to Shifting News. This is a brilliant channel on the ground to bring you amazing videos and create great shows that are touching on different places, cities, countries and personalities that are affecting the way we live. We are at the James Gishuru Junction where the Nairobi Expressway officially starts. This is the Nairobi Nakuru Highway and construction is still ongoing. And I'm joined by my good friend. Okay, first thank you so much for inviting me to your channel. My name is Walter. I'm a long-term resident of Nairobi dating back from 2003. So today I'm joining uh, the Shifting News team. So he says that they have a project today and I'm very glad to be part of the team. And I'll let my friend Alfayo introduce you to what you're going to do. And in this video, whatever we are going to do is a unique project. We are going to count all the pillars that have been used on Nairobi Expressway from James Gishuru Junction up to Mlolongo. Are you serious you are going to count all the pillars up to Mlolongo? Are you doubting our ability? Nothing is impossible. Kindly join us as we count. Let's do it. Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift. doubting that we cannot walk up to the longer section. I had my doubts. Okay, now let's see. And here we are at James Shuru Junction. And this one is the first pillar. So pillar number one, pillar number two, pillar number three. So at James Shuru Junction, we have three pillars. Yes. And uh, as you can remember, Kenyan roads were named after individuals who played part in uh, liberation of the country that is now to gain independence of the country. So James Gishuru Road goes uh, down there to next to Lavington. And uh, the history, it was initially known as St. Austin's Road. So after the liberation, now in 1963, that is when now they started the naming the road. And uh, James Gishuru, this is the name that was given to James Gishuru Road, which was initially St. Austin's Road. And uh, if you go back to history, you can realize that uh, James Kishuru was the first Kenyan finance minister as well as uh, minister for defense. So we are going to continue bouncing and uh, I hope your doubts will be, will be validated. I'm still holding my hopes high. So let's continue to go ahead. So you can remember here we have three pillars and uh, we are going to continue up to Westlands uh -huh. and uh, move to town. Yes. Go up to Hilflasia, go up to Capital Center, yes. first DM, go to the KIA, uh -huh. 
SGR interchange yes. up to Nolongo. Oh, not a distance. Yeah, that's uh, just a mere 27.1 km. 27.1 km? Yes, that is uh, just a small stretch. Yeah. Uh, are you fearing you, you will be tired? No, I'm up for the challenge. This is along uh, St. Mark's place, or the Lion's place, and uh, we are on the opposite side. We are just going to cross the road and continue counting. So continue watching and remember to subscribe. As you can see, the previous road, has been uh, tarmac and uh, we hope this place is going to be planted or maybe a road will pass at this section uh -huh. so Walter uh, we are now at the St. Mark's and uh, we are going to continue the county yes. I hope you remember we were at number 3 yes, on the side of uh, James, James Ishuru Road uh -huh. so here now we are passing two pillars yes. so how many are those? those are uh, we had a uh, the previous side yes if we add to that will be five then we continue counting yeah so we are going to continue to count until we'll reach uh Mlolongo. so now this is number five this is six seven that is that's the eight, eight one, nine nine now let me tell you something about these pillars you realize uh, in some sections yes. we have one pillar standing. I was about to say that. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, in other places we have like uh, extended two pillars. Uh -huh. Do you know why it was done so? I really want to know. I hope you can go and ask the engineers for now. But uh, let me just give you my piece of thinking. Uh -huh. Whereby now you see the road uh, is not wide throughout. Uh -huh. And uh, you will realize now they have to factor in the existing road. Yeah. So that's why some pillars are being placed, either two of them or three. Okay. And now you realize where there is one pillar, that means that road was wide, the, yes. the road reserve. Uh -huh. So like now, when you go to CBD, yes. you will realize the road reserve was small. Yeah. So that's why you will realize there is one pillar. Okay. Yes. So can we say that this one uh, is also contributed by the fact that this planning came much after? Uh, the other existing roads have been constructed, it was not in the plan? No, for that case I don't have a brilliant answer, uh -huh. but uh, you can uh, attest that uh, the design was done back in early 2010. Okay. So it's only that uh, there are some issues that occurred because World Bank was supposed to take up the project. Uh -huh. But due to some issues with the, the contractors, yes. I think that's why World Bank pulled out. Okay. And now, CRBC took over. So we don't know now how they had to regenerate the design. As you remember, there was an outcry. People were lamenting that uh, Uhuru Park was going to be taken. Yes. But now the Ministry of Roads, they clarified that and said uh, there is a road reserve which is going to be used for the road. Yes. So at the end, Uhuru Park was not touched. It still remains in It's still there. Currently, it's undergoing renovation and they want to improve it so that wananchi wa wakuwe na mahali mzuri ya kutivinjari that's a good thing so let's continue to count as we go so we were at number 9 so as you see one pillar yes. so this is number number 10. number 10 then 11 so we are going to continue counting 
until uh, we get to where we want to get. Okay. Right? Okay. Telling you, there are some sections yes. on the road that have uh, three pillars. Uh -huh. So this one, you can see there is more space that is left for the existing road. Yes. So that is the reason why you'll find some places have three pillars, while some others have two, uh -huh. while another one has one. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's continue counting as we go. Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift. So far, now we are at the Westlands stage. Uh -huh. So how many have you counted? Wow, I count about 47, if I'm right. Oh, that is true. At least I can see you have been counting. So we are at 47, yeah. and uh, we are going to continue until no longer. So this one, uh, you can see we need to cross the road. So let's take some time for our safety cases and cross the road first, then we continue counting. Okay. Yes. possible to count wow i'm really trying my best <laughs> so far, but, it, uh, but it's possible, yes, it's possible, it's possible. so uh, if i leave you to continue counting are you going to do it 
I need a company like yours on my own. I'm sure it's not going to be easy. Yes. But I'm sure with a company that is as encouraged as you are. Yes. Then I can reach Mlolongo. Okay. Now, previously you have traveled uh, a lot of countries across the world. Uh, I've been to a number of countries. Yes. About three countries so far. Uh huh. And uh, okay, in terms of infrastructure. So the last time you traveled, when did you come back? I came back last year, that is 2020, in July. 2020 or 2021? No, 20, okay, I came back in 2021. Yes. I'm still not yet uh, uh, in Sijainga, but over 2022. But yes, yeah. I came back in 2021, uh -huh. in July. Okay. So when did you leave the country? I left the country for the first time in 2019. Yes. That's the first time I left Kenya. Okay. And Nimelelewa, Nimeishi, I've been here all through my life. For the first time when we talk in 2019. So when you left the country, was the Nairobi Expressway under construction? No, back then it had not begun. Yes. Actually, I came to learn about Nairobi Expressway from your channel okay. and other YouTube channels. Those were trying to cover the, 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 the construction process right from the beginning. Okay. So the Nairobi Expressway, the construction started back in mid-October 2019, uh -huh. before the onset of Corona, and it's ongoing. And uh, most likely before the mid of this year, the public will be using. So, did you now when you compare Nairobi or Kenya in general with maybe you are in Cameroon, right? Yes, I was in Cameroon. So, if you compare the infrastructure, how do you see Nairobi and uh, maybe towns in Cameroon? Okay, I spend much of my time in Yaounde. Yaounde is the capital city of Cameroon. Yes. But uh, if you compare the two infrastructural development, Kenya is way ahead. Yes, Cameroon is trying to catch up. We also have their development projects going on right now. But Kenya is leading. I think uh, an expressway like this one is not there in Cameroon at the moment. Maybe it's something that they'll come up with uh, in the future. Okay. So is there some mystery you have from Cameroon? Uh, or you didn't manage to get a some mystery? Okay. Uh, much of my work involved working with people. So I didn't spend much uh, time looking at the infrastructure. But from the little trips, from the short trips I've been making across the country, uh, I know that China has roots in the development that is going on right now. They didn't have uh, good roads in the past. Much of the things they were relying on were old infrastructures that uh, were not up to the standard of the infrastructure. But right now, China is trying to build modern roads, uh, modern bridges, and um, modern highways. I can say that one for motor city. Okay, now, now when you come to Kenya, as I told you, the Kenyan roads or streets, they have a unique history when it comes to naming. And uh, you see we are at Westlands. And uh, this road is Waiyaki, it's called Waiyaki Way. And it was named after Waiyaki Wahinga. He was one of the people who fought the British when now they were trying to liberate the country. So unfortunately, Waiyaki Wahinga has a unique history whereby they say he was <laughs> buried alive in 1892. Wow. Like now the British, when the Imperial British East Africa Company, I think when they saw like he was resistant. Yes. Now, while he was traveling to Mombasa, at Kibwezi, I think Kibwezi is near Taitataveta. Yes. I think they got hold of him. And uh, up to now, nobody knows where his grave is. Well, that's so, you will realize that most of the roads in Kenya are named after such heroes. Yeah. So though some people say Waiyaki, they don't know if he was a collaborator or he was uh, he was resisting the colonials. Uh -huh. Yeah. So let's continue counting as we enjoy more stories and more history of uh, the Kenyan roads. I'm really enjoying it already. This is the famous Ngumo Street that you had with the uh, Long Waiyaki Way in Westland. Okay. So it was supposed to be cut down. But uh, from public outcry, now the president had to declare some rules. And uh, you see now it's still standing there. So the design of the Nairobi Expressway yes. was supposed to undergo revision. Okay. That's why you see it was spared. So, what is so special about the Ngumo Tree for it to be spared? Now, you see, it is.
is associated with their prayers and traditions. You can realize it has been here for years. So people are hesitant that if it's cut down, it will be bad or men. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but we can read more history and find out why it's so essential. Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift. There's something that I've realized. Yes. There are some sections where the poles are very close, in close proximity to each other. Yes. While in some distances they are quite spread apart. Yes. What could be the reason for that? Okay, now you see like uh, in CBD, you realize the pillars are uh, nearer to each other. So you find that there are many storied buildings around town. Yes. So if they, di they dig deep, uh, deep foundations, you'll find that the stability for the storied buildings will be compromised. Okay. So that's why you'll find they're near each other for support and enough stability. Like now this section you realize they're apart from each other. So it means the foundation was that deeper because now there are no taller buildings or maybe it won't compromise the building structure at this place. Yes. Yeah. Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift. Forgetting this is the Mirage Plaza, huh? and uh, just after some distance, yes. we have the Kembingsi. The famous Kembingsi. 
Hey, have you visited there? I've only seen it on online. I've yeah. never been inside. <laughs> you need to walk there. It is. Uh, you can afford. Okay, with time I will. Huh. At the moment, it's one of the top rated hotels I know that. But there is the GTC Towers now. It's making it look like a dwarf. Just knowing about it right now. GTC Towers? Yes. Is You're not aware? already? It's, yeah, it's, it opened for business last year when the president went there to commission it. Okay. Yeah, and it's not the towers alone. Uh -huh. There is residential yes. and there is uh, like a mall. So you have your residence there. Yes. You wake up in the morning, you go to your office in the towers, uh -huh. you go shop within the towers, so there is no need to leave that place. So you can have all your life within one building. Yes. Yeah, and now this place, uh, we have uh, Chiromo Lane, yes. and uh, initially uh, there is a family from Britain that used to live there yeah. during the construction of the railway line. So this was the Colonel Ewart Grogon. Now, what happened? The route was supposed to pass by uh, Westlands. The train route. Yes, uh -huh. the line. So it had already passed, and uh, now Miss Grogan. Complain to his husband, and you see, Colonel Colonel Grogan was the one in charge. Yes. So do you know what happened? I don't know. <laughs> now you'll be surprised. Mrs. Grogan is the one who made the railway line yes. be rerouted now to pass through Kibra. That's uh, mind-boggling because uh, an individual would channel a route, a route from its original place to another. So you know them days. There were no... The population was not so much. Yes. So, and uh, when the Europeans came, they had much say. So, you will find that, uh, especially when one was supposed to decide, yes. like now, this is my land, or I don't want this one to exist, yes. that was how it was. So, without her, we would not be having the railway station, railway line going through Kibira? It, yes, it could have been, been passing here at uh, Westlands. Okay. Yes. That's a new thing. I'm sure most of our listeners are just learning about it too. Yeah, you can maybe alert them, maybe there is one who knows what you tell him or her. No, if you are learning about this story the same way I'm doing right now, please comment down in the comment section and let us know that we're on the same boat. Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift.
Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift. My friend, wow. this is where you can now enjoy good views of the Nairobi Expressway. And this is where now we have a, a storied building. It's not a storied building. Barabara Zagorova. We have one to another. Yes. Both of them are highways. So this one is the Waiyaki Way. And uh, this one is the forest road that connects to Dika Super Highway. And now, Above which is the Nairobi Expressway. So you can see now, like, Chiazagorofa. So I don't know how, how do you marvel at this masterpiece? Okay, I'm sure at first people thought this is the, high, the highest level you can reach mm -hmm. for road constructions. So when the superhighway came, the expressway, now they went far much above it. So it's something that is a new thing to all of us here in Kenya. We thought that the okay we are initially used to roads on the ground. Now the next level of construction was this level. Yes. But now we have Barabara Jia Barabara, which is something very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the famous museum interchange. I think if you have been watching our videos, you have learned about the history of this place. I have. And uh, I can even show you that is where you have the museum. The museum itself. The Museum of Kenya. So now, this place is so unique. Clubbing. Oh, yes. there has been a lo there was a lot of clubbing at this place. Yes. And uh, initially we had the club boomerang. Club boomerang. Yes. Uh -huh. During the ages where Ainsworth was living at that place, yes. and he was watching over what was going in Nairobi. Uh -huh. And uh, this is the place where you could find. Such people like uh, La Cosa Nostra wow. and Paco Pere. That names. was a DJ. So that was the, them days when mixing was mixing. Yeah. So I don't know if they have their mixes online. Maybe we can check or if one of our fans has a mix that was done by Paco Pere. You can kindly comment below. Pa Paco Pere. Paco Pere. Paco Pere. Yeah, in English is Paco Perez. Is he from Kenya or from which country? He's a Spanish. Spanish musician. Spanish DJ. Okay. Yes. Huh? Okay, so <laughs> that's a new name for him. Yeah, that's why now you find the history of this place is becoming interesting. Yeah, and uh, now the sweetness is being added by the Nairobi Expressway. Uh -huh. You can be sure maybe in 50 years to come or even 100 years to come. Yes. Now people will be learning the history of Nairobi Expressway. They'll be marveling at the technology that was used. Maybe by then technology will have moved a notch higher. Yes. So we believe they'll be watching such videos and enjoying and even appreciating the history of such places. The channel shifting news is going to become a big part of the history. Yes. Because they'll be able to catch up with what we're That's doing. our aim, such that in the coming years, people can watch and relate to history. In fact, what we are doing is informing all our fans, you know, not all our fans are based in Nairobi. Yes. Most of them, some are abroad, some even in Kisumu, some in Mombasa. So we are doing this to inform all our fans and even we'll go beyond and we'll continue creating amazing shows that will touch different areas and different personalities. Oh, that will be good. So let's continue counting. I hope you, you are keeping the count. I'm keeping the count? Yes. 
Okay, let's just continue and we'll do the number ahead. Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift.
now we are. We are at uh, University Roundabout. University Way. University Roundabout. Yeah, so now we are going the the CBD section. Yes. Yes, and that's where you will uh, see the Uru Park and some other sections. Ah. So, what a distance. how many have you counted? Uh, it's about 200 and uh, something, but I've lost count. Oh, so you mean now you are tired? Oh, I'm really exhausted. So now, you can see now here we have two pillars. Yes. So, from where we started up to this point, we have 225. 225. Yes, 225. It's very close. You are not close. 200 is very far. <laughs> you are not close. So, now, are you ready to continue? Oh, I'm really worn out. I wish I would continue doing this, my friends. Come on, you can you how much it is Kutembea Kwame go on the way. And I have almost fell down. You can see my shoes. Uh, part of uh, the results of trying to create content. But anyway, I'm not tired. I wish I'll just get some rest, if you allow me. Okay, for the benefit of doubts, we will uh, we'll just allow you. And uh, for that case, since we do not have a person whom we can uh, have stories with as we walk, now we shall have to stop our video here. And uh, if one of you, our fans, you have already counted all the pillars along the way, we kindly ask you below the comments, comment and tell us how many pillars that are on this Nairobi Expressway. And if you first think it's an easy thing, I invite you for the challenge. Come and try and do this. I'm sure you're going to join me to say that uh, it's not an easy task. So invite anyone, if they beat my record, I'm going to comment down below. When, uh, there are people who walk. <laughs> there are people who can even walk from Westlands up to Atriva. So you cannot dare Kenyans. I'm daring them. Please, if you can walk that distance or even beyond my what I've covered, I invite you to come and join Shifting News. Try and beat my record. So thank you. We have counted up to 225. Now we are at the University Way roundabout. And uh, we are going to stop this video here. Uh, we thank you for watching up to this moment. Kindly like this video. Comment. Share. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to ensure that you receive all our new updates. Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift.